Psalms 139, verses 13 through 16. 139th chapter of Psalm, beginning at verse 13 and terminating at verse 16. Say amen. 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 For thou hast possessed my reins, thou hast covered me in my mother's womb. I will praise thee, for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and marvelous that my soul knoweth right well. My substance was not hid from thee when I was made in secret and curiosity, wrought in the lowest parts of the earth. Thine eyes did see my substance, yet being unperfect, and in thy book, all my members were written, which in constituents were fashioned, yeah. when as yet there was none of them. May the Lord bless the readers, the doers, and the hearers of the word. My brother Anderson, lead us in the word of prayer. Father, 
We just ask that you be with us on today. Be with your manservant as he come and open uh, the books and uh, present your holy and divine word. Yes, sir. Let him speak so boldly, dear Father, that some man, woman, or boy, girl might come asking, what must I do to be saved? Uh -huh. Help us, dear Father, as we travel along life highway. Yeah, yeah. That we be the best person that we can be. Dear Father, God, we strive to do better and be better. Yes, sir. When we learn better, we do better. Yes, sir. Dear Father, God, we just ask that you continue to bless us and be with us. In Jesus' name. Amen. And he may not be there when you want it, but it's always right on time. Ain't that right? Jesus is on time. Well, soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Soon and very soon, we are going to see the King. Yeah. 
If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me. Take my hand, Lord, and my feet. Touch my heart, speak to me. If you can use anything, Lord, you can use me.
Let the church say amen again. Amen. How many, how many of y'all know that Jesus will fix it? Right. It may not be today. Yeah. It may not be tomorrow. Yeah. But after a while, yeah. Jesus will fix it. Somebody say amen. amen. Yes, sir. But, how many of y'all know God's good? Yeah, yeah. It's good to be here today. Yes, sir. God has uh, definitely placed another message on my heart. All right, all right. And hopefully, and my prayer is that it touches at least one person here today. All right, all right. But before I turn yeah. or get into the lesson, if you don't mind turning your Bibles to Psalms 139. And we'll read verses 13 through 16. All right. And it reads, For you has possessed my right. You have covered or knit me in my mother's womb. All right. Well, well, well. I will praise you. Ah. For I am fearfully yes. and wonderfully made. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Marvelous are your works. Yes. And that my soul yeah. know it. Right with All right. My substance was not hid from thee. Uh -huh. yeah. When I was made in secret. Right. Well, well, and curiously well. wrought in the lowest place, lowest parts of the earth. All right. Your eyes did see my substance right. yet being unperfect. Mm. Yes, sir. And thy book, all my members were written. Yeah. Which in continuance were fashioned when as yet there was not a We ask God to bless the readers, hearers, and doers yeah, of his holy yeah. Word. All right. How many of y'all are doing good today? All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. When I was trying to figure out what to speak about. All right. The spirit kept tugging at me. Yeah. Okay. The spirit kept knocking on my door. All right. The spirit kept pushing me. Yeah. All right. And what stuck across my desk was, I am enough. Yeah. Yes, sir. With God. Yeah. Somebody say, I am enough. I am enough. With God. With God. So, a wise man once told me, James, in order to be blessed, Pastor, right? In order to be blessed. Yes, sir. Yeah. You have to be a blessing for somebody. Yes, sir. Right. For many of us, that's why we're here today. We're here to get the word, yeah. but ultimately, we're here to be blessed. Yes, yes sir. Come on, so man. before I get into the lesson, if you don't mind, turn to your neighbor and say, neighbor, neighbor you are enough, you are enough. With, God. with God. See, many of times, we don't know what someone might be going through. Right. Come on now. With all that's going on in the world today, uh -huh. somebody needs to know that as long as they're with God, yeah. they are enough. Yeah. Yeah. That's what somebody talk, talk. may say. Society may say. Uh -huh. Your friends may proclaim. Right. Your family may show. You yeah. are enough yeah. Yeah. as long as you're with God. Yeah. Yeah. See, in the dictionary, but first, let me start. What does, really, what does enough really mean? Tell me. Right. Tell me. See, in the dictionary, enough. Yeah. Can be described as to yeah. be sufficient, That's it. to be adequate, Come on, guys. or at a satisfactory level Come on, or yeah. quantity. Yeah. So for the cookies, right? Yeah. Being enough can be just a little pinch of this, enough. a little sprinkle of that, right? Yeah. See, if you put too much in there, it's more than enough. Yeah. Sometimes yeah. you just need a little bit of this and a little bit of that. Yeah. And as long as you're on the right, right. 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 I'm yeah. a little bit of this and a little bit of that. That's right. But the Bible describes being enough as being covered. Yeah. Let me say it again. The Bible describes being enough yeah. as being covered yes. by the blood of Jesus yeah. through salvation, which makes you good, righteous, and enough. Yes. See, being enough is about understanding your work mm. and your value. Yeah. Because as long as we are God's children, right, yeah. we have work and we have value. And when we forget our word and we forget our value, well, we look for others. We look to uh, to validate us yes, instead of looking to our heavenly Father. Yeah. See, 
See, I'm gonna step on nobody's toes right now. I'm talking about myself. Can I speak about myself for a moment? Because for a while, I was looking at others to figure out who I should be. I was looking at others to figure out where I should be going. I was looking at others to figure out what I should be doing. But what I was not doing, I was not looking to my father and asking him, who am I? Who am I? He said, James, you are not. You are not. I don't care about your family problems. You will know. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care about your financial problems. You will know. I've had some financial problems. But in the midst of my storms, he said, James, you are enough. Ah. Oh, no, so, oh, that's good stuff. I like that. When we look at others, or we look to others to validate us, yeah. we look for them to validate us based on our physical characteristics, such as our looks. That's why a lot of women come in all that makeup on. Because they don't realize that they are not. When you have work, when you have earth, you look to the tires. You look for the positions to validate you. When we rely on our friends, or our friends validate us based on the money that we have. The kind of cars that we drive. I don't care if you drive with a Lexus, I may be on a bus, but I'm still eating up. We look for others to validate us because of the place that we stay in. You may have a six bedroom mansion and I may stay in one bedroom. I'm still enough to say a man. But here's the problem. Here's the problem when we look for others to validate us. What happens when that validation stops? What happens when it stops? Right? See, when that validation stops, that's when we start doing the foolish things. We turn to drugs, we turn to alcohol, we turn to addiction, we turn to all these different things to validate us. Which then, those foolish things, cause us to regret. Yeah. Regret it later in, the, in our lives. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Psalms 139. Yeah. In the psalm, David, here, here we have the, 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 the psalmist David. Yeah. He's marveled at God's amazing characteristics. Yeah. Yeah. See what what the what the what the what the subject talked about or, or the text talked about is God knows everything about David. Yeah. He knows where David goes. He knows David thoughts. Yeah. And everything about his conduct. See, some of you may be sitting in the neighborhood, sitting next to your neighbor right now, can't stand it. God already knows that. Yeah. yeah. He knew it before you even thought about it. No. See what the, what David said is that the Lord will say things to David before David even says it. Or thinks it. Yes. There's no place that David can go that God isn't already present, right? Right. Yeah. So moving into verses 13 through 16. Yeah. The text describes David being astonished yes. at God's creative work. Yeah. While he's in the womb. Yeah. He's thankful for God's thoughts for him and God's presence. Yeah. Day and night. Yeah. But then as you move on through the, through, through the text, yeah. David explores God's justice. While David trusts God and celebrates his blessing, he's also affected by the sin of those who hate God. Yes, sir. David sees God's enemies as his enemies. Yeah. And while praying to God, he or while praying that God destroys the enemies yeah. and who are uh, evil and wicked, David also pleads to him to say to lead him in the right way because he's too vulnerable to see. And I'm not gonna step on anybody's toes. That's me. I've been there. And I'm strong enough. Yeah. And I'm fearful enough, or, or, or I'm strong enough and I'm wise enough to sit here and say, I've been there before. Yes, right. But while there's a lot that can be taken from the text, yeah. I just want you to know that you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes, sir. Who you are and where you are. Yeah. Yes, sir. Whether you have a little or you have a lot. Uh -huh. sir. And read through this text, I want to deal, deal with knowing that you are enough yeah. with God. Yes, sir. So as I think about my situations that I've encountered, and I always like to use myself because my pastor said, don't get up here speaking about nothing that you can't take from yourself. Yeah. Am I right, Pastor? Yes, sir. So you preach it. There's been times where I didn't know or I didn't love myself for who I was. So then I had to think about changing my I'm not 
to I am. Right. Then I have to realize that my weaknesses and failures don't find me. Yeah. And then at the last thing, yeah. after I change my I'm not to I am, yeah. realize that my weaknesses and failures don't find me, right? Yeah. I have to realize that God, he chose me. Yes, sir. See, I don't know what your relationship is with your God, but my God chose me. Yeah, okay. He chose to come and save me okay. from myself because he knew that I was a mess. But I was a mess in creation, right? Yeah. Yeah. From his master plan. Somebody say amen. 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 I like that. It's a lot yeah. to I am. Yeah. Romans 12 and 2. Yeah. Like the and be not conformed to this world. Be not conformed to this world. Yeah. But be ye transformed. Yeah. But be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Yeah. By the renewing of your mind. In order to understand that you are enough, and we're not going to take God on this. We sit right here. He sit right next to you. Yeah. Okay. But to realize that you are enough, yep. it starts with our own thoughts. Yeah. Yeah. We have to think about who we are and where we are. Yeah. When we have self-doubt about ourselves, even in our worst time, you're still enough. Okay. See, there will be little to nothing that someone can say or do to change our thoughts about ourselves. Okay. See, they may praise you right there, but sometimes that praise is going to stop. And I want to be strong enough to sit up and say, I'm still fearfully and wonderful. Okay. Yes, but at times, can I be real with you? Yeah. Yeah. At times, we are our own worst enemy saying, man. Right. See, by changing what you think and say about yourself and how you see yourself, it involves changing your I not to I am. Yeah. So here we are in the text, Paul. We have Apostle Paul. Yeah. He's urging Christians yeah. to respond to God's mercy. Yeah. His forgiveness of our sins and his inclusion of us and his family. Yeah. To be in with the family, right? right? Paul then writes that we must no longer be conformed to the world, right? right? Or the way that every human being lives. I'm not saying that you're above and beyond, but you don't have to conform to that world because we know that when we end or with Christ, we're not in the world. Say amen. amen. See, Paul tells us to abandon the chase for pleasure, right? Yeah. The chase for possessions, right? Yeah. The chase for status, which are used to define who we are. Well. Instead, and also he urges us to be transformers from the inside out. So before I can go to my neighbor and tell my neighbor that he's fearfully and wonderfully made, before I to my neighbor and tell him that he's enough as long as he's with God, I have to start with myself on the inside. I have to look deep down inside myself. And I have to realize who I was serving somebody to say that. So if y'all don't understand, stand up. Yeah. Don't say about the hug. Yeah. Let, let, let's use this for a minute. Yeah, yeah. So pastor, he... He's had his ups, he's had his downs. Uh -huh. He's been on the roller coaster, what we call life, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know what? If he don't change what's on the inside, he can't preach to us. Yeah. See, so you I always talk about, I wish that one time I was tall. But did he know that because he's a child of God, that he's still fearfully and wonderfully made? Who he is, where he is, and how tall he is. Somebody say, man. Yeah, yeah. So, to have our minds renewed so that we can begin to understand God's will for our lives. Yeah, that's right. Yes, sir. Renewing of the mind involves asking, what, God, what does God want from me? How does God see me that I don't see myself? Yeah. How does God see me that I don't see myself? Changing that I'm not to I am. Yeah. So I'm going to talk about me for a little bit. So, everybody know my story. I talk about it all the time. Work, 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 work. Uh -huh. yeah, yeah. Work. I wanted this for work. I wanted that for work. I feel like I'm supposed to be here for work. I'm supposed to be, be doing all these things. Come on now. But here, what I didn't realize is that none of that stuff matter. The position that I held didn't matter. It don't matter. It comes with the same problems with or without it. So what does it matter? It doesn't do anything for me but to say that, yeah, I got a little bit more money. Yeah. But at the end of the day, that don't mean nothing. Well, Why do I need to worry about my financial situation when I'm a child of God? Why do I need to be worried about calling a VP or a manager when none of that stuff matters when I go to the grave? When I leave that 
that y'all get that like I be sitting up for the sale. Oh, I miss this VP. I miss this manager. None of that stuff now. None of that now. After going through my roller coaster in life, yeah, yeah. I'm not a VP. That's it. Not a manager. Yeah. But I am a child of God. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. even on my worst days, my worst days. Yeah. even on my worst days, yeah. I'm still yeah. a child of God. Yeah. Even on my good days, I'm still fearfully and wonderfully made. Yeah. See, I may dress up in a suit and everything, but deep down inside, if I didn't change who I was, I wouldn't be able to stand up here. See, that's what caused me to see y'all say it a lot of times. When we see him being up here, yeah. I said it right there. Yeah. Too shy to stand up and say what God has done for me. See, I felt like I wasn't good enough. Yeah. But sometimes God had to take me and shove at me, yeah. tug at my shoulder to say that you are my child. Yeah. You're going to follow my command. Yeah. You're going to obey my command because it's not as long as you want. But when I realized that he was in control of my life, Because I'm no greater than you. 
then you bring it to me. That's because it. as long as we are in his uh, his family, yeah. as long as when we are his kids, yeah. we'll be all right, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So y'all ain't feeling it. Y'all ain't feeling it. I need you to just take these halos off your head. Take the halos off your head. Don't worry about what your neighbor may be thinking about you. Don't worry about your friends may say behind you, right? Take the halos off and just receive the word. So, in other words, God, Paul allowed God to reign over. We need to allow God to reign over our circumstances. At time of our shortcomings, we need to use our shortcomings to humble ourselves because that's where the true blessings come from. Amen. Amen. Don't waddle over what you don't have. Mm. Don't waddle over where you're not. Mm. Take your ups and downs to help somebody else. Talk, For example, as I said, you may not always be good with money. Well, and you see someone else making the same mistake as you made. Well, you may have a bad situation, a bad relationship. And you see some couples going down the same road that you've been through. Come on now. Stop Come on. pulling to a side and just talk to them. Be a blessing to them so that God can bless you. No, Take your thorn and your to help somebody else. Because that's where the real power comes that's from. It. That's it. But for many of us, we become ashamed of our experiences. We keep them tucked down inside deep. Yeah. Down inside yeah. ourselves. Right. Because yeah. we don't want people to judge us. But I've been there too. Nah, nah, nah. I've been in and out the pool pit. Yeah. I've been dealing with emotional situations. Yeah. I've been dealing with yeah. battling with depression. Yeah. Right? Oh, I've been battling to figure out who I am. I can't be a, 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 a husband. I can't be a father without knowing who I am. I gotta know myself first, right? So I want to bless somebody today to tell you that if you've been dealing with these situations, these circumstances, I'm here to help. Yeah. Because God along the way he has put people in my life to help me. So let me bless you because I've been blessed. Well said. Well said. All right. Well said. Well said. In other words, I can't allow my past to define who I am. That's it. And that's for the same as each and one of you. I like that. Oh, you preach it. I like that. Yeah. That's a word. That's so. A word. Educate. That's a word. Educate. Educate. Last thing. Yeah. My weaknesses and failures don't define me. Yeah. I realize that yeah. I am instead of I'm not. Yeah. But here's the beauty of it all. Talk. Despite what I may go through, Talk. despite what you may be dealing with, you'll see right now. Yeah. Despite what is on your mind right now. Yeah. Yeah. God, He sent His only Son. Y'all, yeah. I don't think I understand. See, I need you to hear me right now. Yeah, God sent yeah. His only begotten Son yeah, yeah. to come, not just save them, but save you. Yeah. Somebody needs to say to themselves that God chose me. Yeah. I know I'm not what I want to be. Yeah. I know I'm not what I want to be. Yeah. I know sometimes I don't live right, but He still came to save me. Yeah. I don't know what's more beautiful and what's more promising that He was able to send His only Son. Yeah. See, I don't know if I can sacrifice my Son right now.
not a rocker. We're not a rocker. Fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes, Do y'all truly understand what that really means? You are fearfully yeah. and wonderfully made. Oh, yes, sir. No matter what you deal with, ah. no matter what the world may say to you, yeah. about you, yeah. you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Oh, Take that in. Yeah. See, a lot of times we want to live our lives painted on this portrait. Well. We have this image that we want to create. Yes, sir. Yeah. But you are enough. Yeah. Oh. You may not have all that you want, but you are enough. Oh, oh, yes, We're going through a lot of this world right now, but you are enough. Oh, yeah. We battle in depression right now, but you are enough. Yes, I may not be pretty on the outside, but on the inside, I know that I'm enough. Yes, I may not be driving a Mustang or somebody else like everybody else, but I am enough. Yes, These material things don't define me because I am enough. When they came and wanted to take it from me, yeah. when they came and wanted to take it from me, yeah. I had to realize that I was enough. Yeah. Although I might be ashamed, my enough overrides my shame. Yeah. 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 So as I close, yeah. a few years ago, uh, it's good, sir. I went to go see a counselor about some mental and emotional things that I was dealing with. All right. Don't judge me. I'm still enough. Yes. So as I go into the council office, the council's looking over the intake form. She asked me to explain why I was there. And as she was, as I was talking, she was taking notes. Yeah. And so I told her. I told her that I've just been dealing with a lot. I had a lot of emotional issues that was balled up inside of me. Uh -huh. And many times I didn't even tell my wife, right? Yeah, yeah. I had a lot of stuff balled up in me. Yeah, yeah. Pressure and stress from work. Yeah. Pressure of trying to be that perfect father. Yeah. Pressure of life of being a young married man. Yeah. Pressure of trying to portray this image that I had it all together. Yeah. And as I got done talking, she said, Mr. Jackson? I said, yes. She said, do you believe in God? Oh, ah, I said, oh. I do. She said, are you saved? I said, I am. She said, don't you know that you are fearful and wonderful man? I said, give yourself permission to be good. It's okay to make mistakes on life. It's okay not to have everything together. Understand that perfection is not such thing in many. In life, you will have your ups and downs, right? That doesn't define you. That doesn't make you less of a failure because of God's grace and his mercy, right? He will sustain you through those strong times. As long as you fall and you are able to get back up, that's all that matters. Release that chokehold off of you and know that you are a child of God. And that your God said that you are enough. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. And that you are enough even on your best days, you are enough. Even on your worst days, you are enough. When your family lied to you, you are enough. When they bring talk about you,
church say amen? amen? Certainly that is an inspiring message that to know that we are enough. There are times when I had felt that I was enough. James reminded me this morning that wherever I am, I'm enough. I don't care what you say. I'm enough. Yeah. That's encouraging. Let's give James one more hand. One more. Just one more. One more. And let's also thank God for James that he gave his message through James to give to us. Yeah. Praise the Lord. Yeah. You come by here and hear by the word of God. Yeah. Repenting. Yeah. Confessing. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And being baptized. Yes. You'll see. Yeah. Yeah. That'd be anyone's choice on this morning. All hearts clean. Yes. Give God a hand. Yeah. Praise the Lord.